In this problem, we need to factor x squared minus 7x plus 12. And remember that factoring is just the reverse of the FOIL method. And FOIL, remember, is used when you have two different binomials multiplied together. So we can put our two sets of parentheses, and each of these will have two different terms. So the first of the terms, this one and this one, multiply together to give us this x squared term. And in our case, since the coefficient is 1, each of these would just be x. And then this term and this term multiply to give us this last term here. So we need to think which two numbers can multiply together to get 12. We'll have a few different choices. So either 12 and 1, 3 and 4, or 6 and 2. And remember, since this is positive 12, these can either both be positive or both be negative. And then the outer and the inner and the FOIL method give us this middle term here, this minus 7x. So we need to think which of these possible numbers can add or subtract to give us this minus 7x. And in our case, the only possible numbers that can work are this 3 and 4. If they're both negative, they'll add up to give us this negative 7. So we have minus 3 and minus 4. And when you're first learning how to factor, it's always a good idea to check your answer. So to do that, let's actually FOIL this out. We use the first terms, x times x, so we get x squared, and then we have the outer terms, this x and this minus 4 multiplied together gives us minus 4x, and then we have the inner terms, the minus 3 times x, which is just minus 3x, and then we have the last terms, the minus 3 times the minus 4, negative times negative is positive, so we have plus 12. And if we simplify this, combining those two inner terms here, we have x squared minus 7x plus 12. And this shows us that x squared minus 7x plus 12 does factor in to x minus 3 times x minus 4. And this is our final answer.